before I started my career, I wish someone had told me that the worst barriers I would ever find are those that I put to myself. I wish I knew sooner that everybody finds things difficult. I wish I knew that I didn't have to be a genius. I wish I knew how interdisciplinary the different fields of engineering really are. Over 85% of women engineers would recommend um, uh, engineering as a career. I'm Anna Young, uh, I'm the Senior CDT Fellow in Gas Termite Aerodynamics. I do research into aircraft engine compressors and also tidal power generation. Well, I've always been interested in cars and how they work since I was a small child, but also in sustainability and renewable power generation. I'm Ingrid al The research I'm focusing on is on the combustion part of the gas turbine for airplane engines, and I look at minimizing soot emissions from the gas turbine. My name is Amanda Smythe. I'm working on tidal turbine technology. I've always really enjoyed fluid mechanics. I was really happy to be able to do something that I thought was impactful and really feeling that the work that I do might have effect on something that I care about. I'm Lucy. I'm a DPhil student at the Osney Lab. So when I was age 16, I first got interested in engineering through civil engineering and structures. Adamant, I wanted to be a civil engineer and build bridges and save the world. And now I find myself doing a PhD in a thermofluids lab working on jet engines, very exciting, and I'm really happy to be here. In the UK, we have a real shortage of engineers. We also have a shortage of people with relevant PhDs in areas in which we've got some world-leading industries. There are so many opportunities available for women just starting out in engineering. Engineering is a hugely rewarding and exciting area. You're doing something good to improve the world. So the advice that I will give to women that start in engineering will be just to be strong and do what they want to do. Don't be afraid of stepping out of your comfort zone. Be curious and uh, keep pushing your limits as much as you want. Do whatever you need to do to learn. Um, if it means stopping the class and asking the professor something that might seem like a silly question, do it. Everyone else is thinking the same question. No question is too silly. Whatever you're interested in, whatever your hobbies are, whatever your passions are, you can find, you can follow that into a career in engineering.